Okay, we're online. Let's double check that sucker. Get comfy. Okay, we do in fact seem to be online. So, hello and good evening, everyone. It's been a while, I know. So, apologies. I hope we're all well. Uh, please let me know if the volume levels are off. Um, right, what are we doing today? We are we are using an Atari STM from 1980. Well, originally released in 1985. I think this is a late 85 or early 86 model. But nonetheless, it is an Atari 520 STM, which means it has no built-in floppy. It's about two-thirds of the width of an STE, or depth, depending on how you look at it, um, and uses an external floppy disk. And the external floppy disk in this case is a, or was, a 314. At the moment, the 314, or SF314, has been removed, and I'm running a, an external GoTech with flash floppy, as you can see. Firmware 3.15. So... That's the hardware stats. Let's get on and play some games. Uh, so this is going to be part one, I guess, of an Atari phase of my videos. Uh, I've been doing Commodore for a long time. So I'm going to go back to Atari for a little bit now, as I have the Atari ST, the STFM, the STE, uh, Mega ST. Blimey, is that it? There might be a couple more. And um, Atari 400, 800, and I've just bought an XE130. So I'm going to be looking at the good points and bad points of various machines, playing games, play some demos, um, see what the hardware and software options are for them in this, uh, in this day and age no longer using floppy disks and uh, play some games have a bit of fun and have a chat and a natter as we go along so without further ado uh oh what have i pressed okay uh so we're using as i say a gotech a gotech rather um uh, floppy disk emulator it's a standard fair ebay black uh f floppy type box with the three LED display. I will change that to an, uh, an OLED display and um, I might put a buzzer in it, might put the rotary dial on it, who knows. Might do it, might not. Uh, and have a bit of fun. So what we're gonna do is, I've downloaded a whole bunch of stuff onto my GoTech, onto a USB. I've tried one or two of them just to see if things work. Most of them do work. Well, the ones that I've tried work anyway. There are quite a few I haven't tried. So as always in my videos, I shall play them live. If they work, they work. If they don't, they don't. Uh, right, so the first one is, I suppose I might as well go down in order. Chase by T. Barker. Absolutely no idea what this is. Uh, Chase, okay, F11. Load it. See if it loads, that's the first thing. One thing, oh, oh, and another little hardware mod I'm using. I'm using a USB mouse as the ST mouse that came with my STM has been soldered in the most horrific manner. I'm not quite sure how it's broke. Oops, um, but it's broke in some at some point in its life, and someone's been at it with a solder iron, and it's pretty poor. I'll do, a, I'll do a picture of it at some point. It's it's quite awful. I don't know why you'd go in there with a soldier nine into a mouse. It's got no battery to get damaged. It's got, it should never get damaged in a million years. But anyway, there you go. We have Chase, Programming and Sounds by T. Barker. So it's a shooty, shooty uppy thing. Programming and sounds by T. Barker, but the graphics seem to be by R. A. M. W. and R. A. R. 
pound sign, Chase, in a galaxy far, far away. What's happening? Oh, it's mouse. Okay, I'm shooting triangles. Do I avoid the triangles? No. There's something blue on the radar scope. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, hang on. Come back. Blue, blue triangle. This looks like a... I don't know what it looks like. It looks like a um, Amos game on the Amiga, but uh, it wasn't Amos on the ST, uh, which was the home of Amos, actually. It was STOS, wasn't it? On the ST. Came out first on the ST. Ooh, came out first on the ST. So I, th I think I'll shoot the blue things. Oh my god, I'm bored of this already. Aha! Blue thing. I have you. Yes. I've scored 50. I am awesome. More blue things. So I can't... Oh, I don't know. How would you, what would you class this? 3D asteroids? Maybe. Can I shoot the things? No. Can I even hit the things? It's very fast. Anyway, so that's that. I'm going to press reset now. I'm going to try to anyway. Put the disc back to zero. Come back to zero. Yeah, wasn't quick enough. The reset button on an ST is recessed, which is a real pain in the butt. So I've got a screwdriver pointing at the reset button. Right, one of my favourite games, Crazy Cars 3, which I swear, although I might be wrong. I was going to say it came on two discs on the Amiga, but perhaps it didn't. Hmm. Perhaps it didn't at all, actually. B a boot what? I wasn't, I didn't see any of that. Atomic... Atomic. The replicants presents cracked, mega trained, and packed by Orion. Press shift space to continue. Okay. I need a mem. Ooh, that's not a pleasant noise, is it? Pleasant. Uh, is this okay? Let's go. Championship. One of my five games on the Amiga. I used to love this. I'm used to playing this on WHD load, so it loads in very quickly. Let's go, this guy. Let's go. Sly. I don't want to call him Sly. All right, slide is. The graphics seem the same. Amateur. Uh, amateur. Amateur. Dry. Let's go there. Can I go there? What's it doing? Oh, what a shame. I've no doubt there must be some really nice music on the Atari ST. But this isn't it. Anyway, how are we all this evening? Are we having a good weekend? It's Saturday afternoon, it's five o'clock in the UK. Sun's out, it's quite nice. All kinds of jobs I should be doing. I'm not doing any of them, obviously. Thought I'd do a stream. I haven't done a stream for ages.
I'm not quite sure what the game's doing now. It seems to have stopped. If I didn't know better, I'd say it crashed. I think it's crashed. Okay, let's go back to disk zero, which is the menu, and we'll reboot. If I can get the, if I can get the joint of the uh, screwdriver in the right hole. Okay, so that was a dead loss. What else have we got? Defender of the Crown. Right, Defender of the Crown. All one disc. One disc. That doesn't work. But as soon as the scar image goes away, go away. There should be. Oh, I've downloaded it twice. Oh, have I? Let's try that one. I know I could put these on different slots on the ST on the uh, GoTech, but I'm only messing about. Ken Virus in boot disk. Good old Ken. He's a great guy. Well, it's loading. The track numbers are going up. Please wait. Loading data. The game that made me buy an Amiga. Well, made my, made me nag my mum into buying an Amiga, but uh, same difference. Bum, bum, bum. The American Equity Resource presents a Cinemaware production. Uh, the Amiga one was 1985. Was it 85 or 86? I can't remember now. I think this is a year later. So this is a more polished version of, De of Defender. Graphics look the same. Not sure if I can. Oh, I can whiz it on. Okay, let's go. Wilfred of Ivanhoe. Welcome, Sir Wilfred of Ivanhoe. You have been chosen. Three German knights arrived to join Cedric, Sir Cedric of Rother. Oh. Of. Oh. Hello. Oh, this is nicer. Uh, so that's me. Uh, restart game? Why would you do such a thing? I need to buy an army. Ooh. We've still got to press it one time, okay. You don't have enough. Was that it? Oh, it's very harsh. Oh, not a bloody tournament. See, the colours are not quite as vivid as the... Miggy. Hmm. Yeah, well, apart from that, it's exactly the same. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Did I get you? Did I get you? It's loading, it's loading. Did I get you? I think I got you. Nope, it got me. Bloody hell. A moment's hesitation lets your opponent pass unscathed. Thus ends your day in the lists of Ashby. You are not the champion, but your deeds here will be remembered. Leaving for home, you vow to return and bring glory to your name. That's nice. Right, let's let's do a bit of a land grab, shall we? Oh. Uh, seek conquest. Uh, transfer men. Got to press the button one at a time, so there's no fast selection. 
uh, move. So let oh, you lost five men fighting with local peasants. Bloody hell! So a lot more feisty than uh, on the other earlier version. Buy an army. We've got to be fully armoured up in this game. Oh, I like the noise, the uh, whatever noise that's supposed to be. And that ends your turn. Harsh, but fair. Why would he restart game? But anyway. Oh, there's no, no sea. Oh, there's no ocean. England is in a dark, dry desert land. Oh, well. Well, that's funny. Why is that blue? Okay. Um, seek conquest. Move your army. We shall choose. Where shall we choose? Let's choose there. You're a little bugger. You'd nick my land. You'd nick my land. Right. Seek uh, by army, I think. Or shall we seek conquest? No, we'll buy army. Um, anyway. We're not playing Defender of the Crown. Let's go back to menu. I can play this later date for many hours. Oop. Just knock the ST over. I can play this for many hours. The ST ran at a slightly faster speed than the Amiga. Um, so 3D stuff tends to run just a shade faster. Well, everything runs a shade faster on the ST. So let's see how that compares. So let's go with a th let's go with a let's go with a racing game. Let's go elite. I oh, know elite. I didn't mean that at all. Let's go outrun. F11. What I shall do in, uh, in the next video, I shall um, I'll do an overview showing the STF no the STM uh, the 314 floppy how I've mounted it into the drive. But at the moment it's just well it's screwed in fitted. But uh, I can't fit the case on because the floppy lead is too short. The power lead is slightly too short. Uh, and uh, you can't really get the case on very well. I can sort of jiggle it to almost get it, but it's not particularly satisfactory. So I need some kind of floppy extension and power power lead extension for inside the, f the, um, the floppy drive. I'll either get one or make one. Right, Outrun. Outrun was, generally speaking, an unmitigated disaster on every platform it was released on. Uh, on the 8-bit computers, it was slow and blocky. On the 16-bit computers, it was graphically quite pretty, but slow. Poor frame rate. Uh, the Amiga was particularly poor. And I believe the ST was also as bad, but we shall see. Even though both games were developed in the same year, uh, the ST game came out, I think, almost a year before the Amiga version for some bizarre reason. But the game engine itself was reused for Turbo Outrun, uh, Chase HQ2, I think, and maybe something else. Refined each time, so the frame rate improved. But this is its first outing, and it's not really very good, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, when the floppy stops loading, we shall have a quick go. But I just wanted to see how the GoTech performed. Uh, it's funny how you forget. I, I don't do a lot of floppy disk gaming anymore. And uh, obviously, I was a lot more patient back in the 80s. Like I say, I'm used to playing Amiga stuff. WHD load, go, and the game's off. I do have an ICD hard drive uh, Raspberry Pi adapter for the ST. So I can run things from a hard drive for the ST, but it's a, a complicated, bloody pain in the neck. 
so I don't use it very often. And every time I do use it, I have to try and remember how to how to work the damn thing. Nope. No speech. Press any key for menu. Okay. Show info. Let's see that info. 1986. Okie dokie. Alright. Go away. How do you go away? Music off. Oh, God, how lovely. Demo. Hi, so some cars. Let's try and improve that frame, frame rate. Control joystick. Oh, buggered it right up now. Okay. Game start. That's not too bad. Is it cheating? Probably. Oh. What's that mean? Duh. What a shame. I don't remember the other versions being uh, three quarter screen, but perhaps they were. Not exactly a pleasurable experience, I must admit. Nope. Check. Extended play. Why have you stopped? Oh, it's loading now. Oh my god, loading between levels. I've forgotten. Oh. I'd forgotten that was a thing. So it's checkpoints. I wonder if there's a fork in the road. Probably not. Oh. Sega. Oh. Cannonball, it certainly isn't. My skills of driving have not improved. Oh, for God's sake. Right, I'm bored with this. Right, we'll try one more, and I think that might do for the stream. Oh, put the floppy back to zero for the menu. There we go. July 2020. Let's try and find a, a good one. Buggy boy, commando. Look, Scott menu. Will you naff off? I can't see anything. Dark, right, oh, Dark Castle. Right, Dark Castle, I remember on the Mac, if that's the one I'm thinking of. I do not remember this on any other system, if it's the same game. It's a platform game, or it is on the Mac anyway. I don't remember it. DC for Dark Crystal. I oh know, Dark Castle. Four? What do you mean four? It's loading. In some fashion. But it's great. If you've got an Atari ST, I mean, I can thoroughly recommend the GoTech. As long as your programs are in .st image. I don't think it accepts STX. Certainly doesn't accept PRG because that's a program. Um, so it's got to got to be dot ST three sixty. It's a man in front of a castle with loads of doors. If it's the same as the Mac version, it's probably a different game completely. I don't remember. 
I can't say I don't remember. I've probably never seen this before. But anyway. Dark Castle. Still loading. Nice and slow. It's like having a PS4. It must be the dark castle I'm thinking of. Come on, Dark Castle. You can do it. Still loading. Track 30, 31, 32, uh, 33. There we go. It is Dark Castle. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go beginner. There seem to be like the uh, noises from that uh, game I like to play. Info. Again, loading from disk. I wish I never bothered now. Why did I press info? Here we go. Silicon Beach Software, 1986. <laughs> oh, I quite like it. Five hundred and twelve K. Why would you need anything more? Like I say, this is going to be a start of a collection of videos looking at the uh, various Atari models in no particular order. It's whatever I unpack and get out of the wardrobe first and can find all the power packs for in the loft and the shed or wherever else they may be. Let's play this sucker. Scores of merit. It's not doing anything. It says play, but the disk access has stopped. So that's not very helpful at all. I seem to have killed it. Oh. Well. Oh, screwdriver's moved from the reset button. Oh, it's all going wrong. Okay, we'll try one more. I think that will do. Loading flash floppy. Right, let's go for let's go for let's go for um something easy. Ghosts and goblins. I used to love ghosts and goblins. Can't play it, it's too hard. But we're gonna play it on the Atari ST. Maybe, if it loads. Who knows? Loading. Track 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. Ah, Equinox. Lovely and sunny outside. Uh, trainer by illegal. Oh. Let's go in full fullness. 
Ghosts and goblins. Oh, I like this. Oh my good god, this is fast. This is ridiculous. Well, those are... Hang on a minute. I've never seen a gap there before. Come on, Arthur. Oh, come on, I'm in my underpants. Well, that's, I'm, I'm staggered. Different layout. Love it. This is my new favourite version. Oh, bug off. Oh, it's great. That's a big gap. Is that supposed to be a big gap there? That's never right. I don't remember that. That's that's that's. I'm confused. I need to look that up. I don't think there should be a gap there. Bug off. Uh-huh. Oh, come on. Hmm. I don't remember there being any gaps there before. Ooh, and this music's too fast. No, you spoilt it. That is so much faster than any version I've ever played before. Well, I love it. Uh, hi, Renee. No gaps for sure. But it's pretty good looking, I must say. Yeah. Well, I, I sh yeah, I'm going to have to download another version of this game. Uh, another copy of it and see. It might just be a, 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 a problem with the version I've got. I love it. The graf I think the graphics are ace. Love the speed. What? <laughs> I don't. I don't. Perhaps that's just. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. There must be some ST fans out there who know that Ghosts and Goblins does not. Hey, 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 hey! Come on. Does not have big gaps for no obvious reason. Bird's gone. Where's the bird gone? Oh. I'm stuck now. <laughs> I can't actually get past this bit. Oh. What's that do? Hmm. Well, I don't know what to make of that. Anyway, I'm going to go get something to eat, and I shall see you in the next video. I'll probably do a video uh, of the actual machine itself, just showing it set up. I'll get the GoTech set up properly, and we'll have a look at that working. And then we'll go play some more games. Definitely want to play Ghosts and Goblins again, uh, without gaps. Anyway, so thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. I shall see you in the next video. Please let me know if there's any issue with the volume, uh, whether the game music is too loud, I'm too loud, too quiet, blah, blah, blah. Um, anyway, thank you for your time. I'll see you next time. Have a very good day.